All right, so I thought I'd do this little video. I just put a new bandsaw blade on my old bandsaw. This thing here is a 12 inch Craftsman, about a 1970, 75. It's a pretty good old thing. I overhauled it twice so far and uh, just put new tires on it. So I thought I'd show you how I take in uh, set up a blade on now one. the blade I had on here was a quarter inch it's a three eighths I'm out of quarters and what most people for, forget is that when you change the blade size now you got to change all your settings so that everything you know is going to follow white now you can see right here that the bearing is quite a ways from the blade and you need to get that up to where it's Oh, just maybe barely touching. Back it off just a hair. Because if this blade can move around a little bit, it's going to make you, you know, it's going to make your cuts crooked. Now, same thing is down here. You can see where this edge is. And this one, you'll want to get that up in there to it's just shy of the teeth right here. And then you're gonna tighten all this down but before you do that you need to go down here on the bottom one and see where it's at because you need to set it to and set it about the same way don't want to push it and then uh, move your guides up and well, we look like we look like we're in good shape here. So I'm gonna tighten this down before I do anything else. Now yours probably won't adjust like this, but you should have enough common stuff that you, know, you can see what you need to do off of this and uh, tighten it all down. Then you may even have to adjust the tilt on the wheel to make sure everything runs straight. And you can see about all the vibration. And this thing runs pretty good. So. All right, now, one other thing most people don't do, this thing has a fence on it. And uh, of course I got a modified center right here. Now what we're gonna do is, most people don't know to do this. And some most of us old parts do. When you put on a new blade, one of the reasons why a new blade will break is because, you know, this thing is square and you know you're going around a round wheel so what it does it causes little micro fractures right back here in the back of your blade and that's why your blades break prematurely so I'm going to show you what to do to make your blade last longer and all you need all you need is a stone this one's about 180 grit that's about all you need now, you're going to turn your bandsaw on. Run in here a little bit. And now, you're going to take this stone. And you're going to go around the back. And what that's going to do, it's going to round the back of that blade off. And now you're not going to get as many micro fractures. But there's one other little thing about doing this. And most people have a hard time backing something off the blade. So I'm going to show you what this also will do for you. I'm going to go in here 
now. How many of them have a bandsaw they can back out of that without pulling the blade? Look, that blade didn't go anywhere. How about that? So, there you go. And this thing appears to be running pretty straight on the rollers. And, uh, well, that's how you do it. And, uh, if you want to see this one more time, a little bit under tired and uh, I can bog it down but you notice there that blade didn't go anywhere. Do that again. that blade on that wheel right there. Hope you can see it. Now what's it when I take to pull it out? See that blade go anywhere? Hey how about that? Y'all have a good day now. Bye.